hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we're doing something a little bit different. We're actually somewhere different than we're normally used to recording. We're in my kitchen. Why? Because we are reviewing this coffee pot. So this company contacted me and asked me, would I be willing to do a review for their two-way coffee maker? So of course, it's in the name, folks. So of course I told them, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and get into this so that you guys can see if this is something that you might be interested in. Now, I have a Keurig, so I kind of know how these machines work, but I do, I actually am in need of a new coffee pot because my Keurig is so old, y'all. It's so old. Anyways, so this two brew, two brew two ways works with ground coffee and K-cups. Now, I don't drink ground coffee. I don't, I, I do K-cups, um, but I think I might try the hot chocolate in that little thing out of something. I, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So let's get into the box to see how it is in here. So I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. So you might see bits of Miss Coffee you're not used to seeing. So you get a uh, warranty card and it says follow us on Facebook. You have your instruction book. Sorry, different camera angle. I'm trying to get this, y'all. And then, if I can get it out of here. There we go. On the side of the box here, it does give you everything that you need to know about the machine. Uh, it tells you where your push button is for the lid. Hold on. Here we go. Get that glare off. Push button lid open. Whole ground coffee and K-cups. 14 ounces of water reserve. K-cup brew button. Ground coffee brew button and removable drip tray. And then of course it shows you the coffee pot there. So when we open this up, this is how it comes. It's kind of sandwiched in between these two things here. We can get rid of that. And of course it's covered in plastic. And then here is your K-cup holder. So that's pretty cool. We're going to get it out of the plastic here. Oh, and you get a cup. Oh, the joys of new appliances. All right, so we're going to put that plastic in the box. We're going to try to get this tie off here. And I always like these uh, brewing systems because I don't drink a whole pot of coffee. I probably could, but I don't drink a whole pot of coffee. So I don't need to make an entire pot and then have the rest of it go to waste. So that's, that, that's a waste of water. So you have this here, which is your drip pan, which of course comes out easily so that you can wash it. That's really cool. And of course you can get all up underneath there and clean that as well. Push, oh, oh okay. So when you push the top part here, you push it in and open it, and then that will release. That's a nice big old thing for your coffee. So there we go, we have that. So that is gonna be for grounds, and then a, that is gonna be for your K-cups. So you actually have two. So you're gonna wanna make sure you put that in like your silverware drawer or something. And then it has that top reservoir there to pour the water in to uh, make the water hot for you. And so we're gonna use the K-cup option, because I have yet to have my coffee this morning, so. We're going to use their fancy cup that comes with it because we already know it fits. That's one of the big things I have whenever I get a new coffee pot is, will my cup fit in it? Because my coffee cups change, y'all. They change. So I got this cool coffee cup. It looks like it has a handle or something to it. There we go. And so let's make some coffee with Miss Coffee, okay? So we're going to get out a little spoon, possibly. Nope, Mr. Coffee didn't empty the dishwasher, so I gotta get a spoon out of the dishwasher. All right, so this is how, and for those folks that always wondered how Miss Coffee takes her coffee. Swiss Miss, I don't use, uh, bring it down a little bit. I, d I don't use, like, uh, I use creamer, but I don't use sugar. I use a spoonful of Swiss Miss. And 
And then my K-Cup. Now, as you guys know, I got that box of K-Cups from Anxiety Art Adventures for my birthday. So this morning's K-Cup is going to be the breakfast blend from Green Mountain. So then what we're going to do, lift you up. We're going to pop that little bad boy in there. We're going to close it. That was pretty easy. Is it? Is it closed? Okay, it's closed. Got our coffee in there. Ooh, okay. So it has on the bottom. Okay, I got to close it so I don't spill stuff everywhere. On the bottom of this cup, it has a non-slip grip so that it's not going to slide everywhere. I love that. That is awesome. So we're going to go ahead and put that underneath there like that. Make sure y'all looking at more than just my coffee pot. All right. So on the side over here, it those buttons were lit up just now, but we got to put water in it, right? Right. So when you look on the inside here, can I take this out? Maybe. We'll, 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 we'll bring you up. So if you look on the inside here, there's a little reservoir. There's little steps in here, right? Well, the little steps, I don't know if you can see it. Let's tilt it down a little bit. Move it, move the cup. Then we're gonna tilt it down. If you look in there, it has what size cup of coffee you want. So that's really cool. So you have 14 ounce, 10 ounce, eight ounce and six ounce. And then it says max where you can fill it to the max. So that is really cool. So what we're gonna do is, we got this coffee cup, but I don't know if this is a 14 ounce or eight ounce or what it is. So we're gonna look in our instruction book. Since I already put my hot chocolate in there, I can't really put water in it. How to use. Yeah, anyway, yeah, I don't do instructions. All right, so we're gonna get this coffee cup here that I got from Ruby Q. And we're gonna pour the water into the back of the coffee machine. Now, one thing I noticed, there's, there's no on and off button. I wonder if that's a thing. Let's see if I can spill stuff all over the counter here. So I put water in it, so you can see the water in there and all over my counter. All right, clean that off. All right, so I think it's called Solby, so that's cute, turn the water off. All right, so. We got our water, we got our K-cup, and on the side here, all right, so I was a little confused because I wasn't sure if that uh, blue button would come back on because it has a little blue button over here on the side, and I used a capsule, so I'm going to press the capsule button, and it does light up when you press it. It's going to blink for a few minutes. Oh, can you hear the water heating up? Oh my God, that's so cool. Branding, folks. Branding is everything. And it says that any time if you want to stop it, so say if I put too much water in and my cup isn't that big, I can press that button, that blinking button again, and it will stop the process. So that's really cool. I don't think my Keurig has that option. If you put too much water in, you just put too much water in it. So we're going to see how we do with our first cup of coffee here. Y'all gonna have a cup of coffee with this coffee. I think maybe it's gonna do something. Now you can't adjust the temperature on this, so I'm guessing it comes out perfect temperature every time or you won't scold or burn yourself, but do be careful because obviously it's coffee, so it's gonna be hot. Coffee is made. 
Let's take a look. Oh, oh, we got our coffee. And of course, you don't want to fill it to the brim because you got to add your creamer and stuff to it, right? Right. So we're going to add some creamer to it. Yes, this smells so good, you guys. All right. So it does take a little bit for it to heat up, and you'll hear it heat up. You'll hear it boil the water. Uh, so if I had a suggestion, I would say probably add hot water to it if you're, like, looking to get it, you know, a little faster. Um, add hot water to it from, like, your sink, and then it'll boil. It won't take as long for it to heat it up. But uh, I have to say that's pretty good. So we got our coffee here. I'm going to rinse off my spoon. Yes, it's my kid's spoon. Don't judge me. So I love the fact that it comes with its own coffee cup. So you get a new coffee cup and a coffee maker. Now, with this system, okay, you don't, uh, like most K-cup um, systems, you don't want to leave that K-cup in there. So when you're done, you just release that top part. So you just release that. And so that you're not burning your fingers, Look at that. And you just take it, dump it in the trash. And then you can put it back in there. But we're going to make a little bit of hot chocolate. I wonder if I can make hot chocolate in here. So we're going to remove this and rinse it off so I don't get coffee all over my counter. We're going to add a little bit of hot chocolate to this because I want to see if it makes hot chocolate. And of course, we're going to use our, our Beetlejuice mug. <laughs> so, I'm not going to make a whole cup of hot chocolate, but like this will probably be better if you had like a measuring cup. So, let me see if I can find my measuring cup. I ain't worried about it. So, we're going to close this. <laughs> we're just going to pour that in the back of there. All right, we're going to close that up, open up the front part. Um, I'm going to put this in here because this is actually for your ground coffee. So if you're someone who likes ground coffee, like Folgers or whatever, uh, you would put your ground coffee in there. But again, I don't have ground coffee, so we're going to try hot chocolate. <laughs> Same thing, right? Don't worry. If I mess, it, it won't mess it up. So we're going to... Put our cup there. Of course, our cup fits there. We're gonna add like a spoonful of hot cocoa to it. Because what if you don't have ground coffee and you have hot cocoa, but you don't want to? You don't want to go have to put that in something else. So of course, now on the side here. You're going to want to hit grounds. It's going to heat that water up again. So I like the fact that it has two separate K-cup uh, options for you. You can either use grounds or your actual K-cup. Again, I'm just going to use hot chocolate for this because I forgot to get ground coffee. Plus, I don't drink ground coffee. So we're going to see how this works here. You do have to descale this uh, once after like, I don't know. I usually descale mine once every two months. Uh, so just like your Keurig, you would have to descale it. It says tilt is advised to descale the brewer on a regular basis. Frequently, frequency of descaling the brewer depends on the amount of use or your local water conditions. As a general time frame, the brewer should be descaled every three months. Specific descaling products for coffee makers are available in stores and online. So Every about every three months, depending on how often you use the coffee maker, is how long how often you want to descale it. Um, I'm gonna close that because I don't want my coffee to get <laughs> cool. I'm gonna actually drink that. I literally haven't had my coffee this morning, so we're gonna wait a few minutes and let that heat up that water and make us some hot cocoa. It says cleaning, and while I'm do while he's doing that, I'm gonna read you some instructions. Cleaning: Turn off the brewer and unplug it from the wall outlet on a regular basis. Check the drip tray for excess water or coffee. Empty the drip tray and wipe it clean with a damp cloth. Use extra care when removing or emptying the drip tray in order to prevent spilling and any ex excess liquids from the drip tray. Do not leave used coffee capsule. Okay, then. Look at that. God, that smells good. Uh, 
Yeah, you also never want to leave a K-cup in there. I guess I think if you have a brewing system like this, you already know that. It will uh, clog up your needle that pierces the K-cup. So you don't want to leave uh, a K-cup in there. And I've done that a few times where I've left it in there and it, the, the K-cup, the grounds inside the K-cup dry. And then they get stuck inside the needle and I have to take a toothpick, of course, unplug it first. I'd have to take a toothpick to, unpl to um, get it all the coffee grounds out of it. So I wouldn't advise leaving a K-cup in there uh, when you're done with the, the grounds here. You, would, of course, would dump the grounds into the trash, and they give you this handle option so you're not burning the crap out of your fingers because I know with my, my Keurig, it's just a little silver thing that goes in that I have to, like, pick up out, open it. There's a little piece that goes inside of it, and then I have to take pull that out, burn my fingers half to death, throw it in trash. Whereas with this, it just has that handle. You just knock it on the trash can a couple times, rinse it off in your sink, boom, you're good to go. So I do like that. I do like that it has an option for you to pour your water in instead of having water just sitting in your coffee pot for a while because my Keurig does that. And where that's nice, um, having that perfect cup of water all the time and not having to worry about water sitting for however long until you make your next cup is always a good idea. So I do like that. And of course, we're done. We have our hot chocolate here. Something else I just thought of for my people across the, the water. Um, I wonder if we could brew tea. So I'm adding this into the video because I want to see if it can brew tea. So we're going to get a tea bag. All right, so I've got some of Mr. Coffee's Sleepy Time tea. Um, he only gets this because of the bear on it. I don't know what's wrong with him. All right, so can you make tea in here? Because I know a lot of people across the lake there love to drink their tea. And it's not a coffee bag. Or it's not coffee grounds, but I wonder if you can treat it like coffee grounds. So we're going to get some water here. We're going to open this up. Place the K-cup. You guys see what I'm doing here. Placing the K-cup. It's really simple and easy to use. Like, I really like this. So I'm going to fill up my coffee cup here. Maggie's drinking her, her hot cocoa. So we're going to pour this in the back of here. Alright, so we got our gigantic Hello Kitty coffee mug. We added our water. And I'm going to treat this as if it's... Uh, coffee grounds because it's like coffee grounds so i'm gonna hit grounds because i know if i don't do this somebody's gonna ask me can it make tea so we're gonna check to see if it can make tea and one thing i forgot to do last time was put the top on it so we're gonna put the top the diffuser top on top of there so let's see if it'll brew oh and for those who didn't realize what that top is that top just goes in there like that just sits down right nice and neat on top of there. So let's see if it will make us a nice cup of hot tea. And while it's doing its thing here, gotta actually press the button. <laughs> and you'll see it blinking as it's heating up the water. And then again, if you have any problems where you need to stop it for any reason, you just hit that button again. Um, so when you open up the little flyer here that you get, follow us to get 20% off for more for next order or more offer and more offers. It says happy with your product. Uh, follow us on Facebook at Solby Appliance. And look at the little look at I think that's like a little orange. Sorry, if for any re reason there is anything incorrect, not fitting differently than you expected, please reach out to us. We'd love the opportunity to take care of you and provide total satisfaction. And of course, it has their 24-hour uh, hotline there. And then on the back of that card, it just says, follow us on Facebook. So it'll be appliances where you can get an extra six months warranty. So you can get a bigger warranty for it. Uh, this is your warranty card that was on top of the box when you opened it. So I like the fact that it didn't have a lot of trash on the inside to like keep it safe. It had just those two cardboard pieces and the instruction book and everything. And then of course the plastic around it. Because a lot of a lot of places will have like so much extra stuff in there to keep it from getting messed up. And this actually showed up 
pretty quickly to my door since from when they uh, contacted me. So, yeah, I really, really like this. This is going to be something that is definitely going to get used in this house. Here we go. Look at that. It's making our, it's making our tea. Sorry for anybody who now has to go to the bathroom because of them hearing this. Drinking my coffee. <laughs> oh, I just realized that this coffee cup has a handle. <laughs> so the handle just clicks into place down here. And then you just click it up like that for on-the-go use. Then, of course, when it's done, you'll see that little blue light disappear. I got a handle to my cup. <laughs> so, as you saw, the blue light went off. We have our cup of tea. So, yeah. So, if you like tea, if you're a tea drinker, if you're a coffee drinker, hot chocolate drinker, what have you, you can use this easy system. And, again, we're just going to open it up here. Let it drip a little bit more water. Just so we're not burning ourselves with the hot water. And one thing I want to check is, because we made coffee in this too. So I want to check to see if there's any coffee grounds in the tea. Because if you use a Keurig for a long time, you know that sometimes you'll get coffee grounds because you've been using it for so long. And even though it's only made coffee, hot chocolate, and now tea, look how clear it is. No coffee grounds, nothing imperfection in that tea, cup of tea. So definitely, definitely would recommend. So if you guys are interested, again, I'm going to leave the link down in the description box below. And we're going to send you back to the original video. Bye, guys. So there you have it. There is the Solby uh, coffee maker. I would definitely say it's a pretty good coffee maker. It does take a little bit to heat up water like a Keurig would. Um... I'm not sure exactly if it takes the same amount of time or what. I do know it takes up a lot less counter space than my Keurig does. And it also, obviously, is going to be a cheaper option than buying the actual Keurig itself. So if you're someone who doesn't have a lot of counter space because you don't have a lot of counter space or, you know, you just want something quick and small, this would be something that's good for you. Uh, and again, it comes with its own coffee mug. So you could just fill this coffee mug up for however much coffee or whatever you want. Pour that water in there, put it in the bottom here, and look, in our drip tray here, you can just pull this silver part off and see how we got some uh, remnants of like hot cocoa or something in there. You just take it over to your sink, rinse that out, boom, you're good to go. But let's look and see what, how it fared up here. So up here, oh, and it's dripping again. It does still have some hot chocolate uh, residue in it, so let's go up here. So it does still have some remnants of the hot cocoa in there, because of course that's how hot cocoa is. So then what you would do is just take it over and rinse it out, which I like, again, the option to just pick it up. And I can just bring it over to the sink, rinse it out. Just that simple, ta-da. And then it's ready to brew another cup. And of course, we got a little bit of drip in there, so we're gonna rinse that out again. Really quick and simple. I like the size of it. It's Like I said, it's not too big. This will definitely be replacing my Keurig because my Keurig takes up way too much space. But I actually really like this. So if you guys are interested, of course, 
Uh, as you know, I'm an Amazon affiliate, so any links that are provided below, I will make a small commission also. I thank you in advance if you decide to use that. But I will definitely be linking this down below so that you guys can go get one for yourself if you're interested. I really like this little coffee pot. It's so cute. And as you can see, I have a bunch of stuff on my countertops. I got my Instapot, my George Foreman grill, my air fryer. So having something this small, I can easily put it over there, over there. And it's not going to take up a whole lot of room versus my uh, Keurig, which I'm not hating on Keurig, y'all. I know y'all think it's just a comparison, okay? I'm not hating on them. But if you come over this way and look at my Keurig, don't look at all the stuff on my counter. My Keurig takes up a lot of space, and that's my Ninja. But my Keurig takes up a lot of space. So with this, it's going to give me a lot more options for counter space. It's a little bit more compact, and I like the options better for your ground coffee, which, again, that's for ground coffee. Don't put... Well, you can put hot chocolate in it. You just saw me do it. So I like the handle option for your K-cup and your ground coffee. So I really, really like this system. And I like the fact that it comes with its own cup. Don't worry, Maggie will drink that hot chocolate. <laughs> I like the fact that it comes with its own little personalized cup there. So this is a really cool coffee system. So if you're interested, please feel free to use the link down below to go check it out over on Amazon. Thank you to the company for sending it out for review. I give it two big old Miss Coffee thumbs up. It makes a good cup of coffee. Matter of fact, I'm about to drink mine now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Okay, all right. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns about this coffee pot, please leave them down in the comment section below, and I will try to answer them to the best of my abilities. But with that said, I must now bid you adieu. But not before reminding you. To wash your hands, don't touch your face, keep your six feet, and always try. Be kind. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys.